Okay. Hey y'all. So I have not been on here for a hot minute and I am so sorry, but I am here again today and we have more videos coming out. So I'm going to change it up and start with a story today. And the story started probably about when I was 10 and I remember several nights in a row just sitting on my bed asking God to experience him, asking God to reveal himself to me. And I really wanted to experience God. And I had a really hard time because I didn't feel like I was. I remember just sitting on my bed crying at times and I would just sit in my bed feeling nothing, seeing nothing, hearing nothing. And it was really discouraging. Today, I don't really struggle with that anymore. And I've really grown in my relationship with God and I experience miracles all the time. And I feel his presence and I have encounters with him almost every day. And so if you want more of God and you want to experience him and Jesus and Holy Spirit in all of these beautiful ways, and more. Here are three steps to experiencing more of him. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video and if you want to see more. So the first step in experiencing more of God is to practice listening to him. I like to go into a place where there's no distractions. Usually that's my bedroom and I just sit there either in the silence or I turn on worship music. Most of the time I turn on worship music. You know when what you listen to is what you start to think about? And I feel like listening to worship music really gets my mind on God. So as I'm sitting there, I just try to um, let my mind go blank. Sometimes that's hard, but a really great encouragement that I heard was, God is bigger than all the thoughts in your head. So even if you're having all of these distracting thoughts and you're like, I can't just get it blank. God is bigger than those thoughts. So just keep pressing in and just keep trying to just listen to him. God speaks to everyone differently too. I'll close my eyes and I'll just see like pictures in the darkness of my mind or sometimes I'll just feel his goodness and I'll just kind of feel really happy or excited um, or peaceful or I'll start crying but it's like happy crying and that's another way that I know that I'm experiencing God's presence. Sometimes out of nowhere a Bible verse will just pop up in my mind. Also, something important to remember is that God never condemns you ever. He never makes you feel pain. He never makes you feel icky or ugly or ewy or anything that's negative. Never. God only speaks life, love, and peace over you. And that's something really, really important to remember. As you begin to hear more of God, you begin to hear more of his voice, you begin to see more pictures, you begin to experience more Bible verses, you begin to experience more of his presence. Step number two is practice doing what he says. And so if you feel like you're receiving a Bible verse from God, look up the Bible verse. If you feel like he's telling you to go and love and bless someone with affirmations and comments and kindness, then go do that. Go try it out. If you feel like God is wanting you to go sit with someone and love on someone or invite them over to your table at lunch or wherever at work, post quarantine, unless everybody's comfortable with that, go do it. If you feel like God wants you to go and pray for someone, go and pray for them. And I know that this is so scary, especially in the beginning, but start with the simple things. Compliment someone's hair, look up the Bible verse. The more that you do the little things, the more boldness, the more outgoingness, the more trust in God you're going to gain. And so then when you feel like God's asking you to go pray for someone, it's not as scary as when you first started out. I just looked at my notes and I have two stories. So are you ready to hear some story time? Ah, my foot! The first story took place when we were first taking a tour of my school right now. We had met with our principal. She's an amazing woman and she had given us a tour of the whole school. At the very end, we had kind of learned that she knew Jesus and she was a believer. I'm not sure if it was me or someone else, but one of us had asked her if we could pray for her. And about halfway through, I was closing my eyes. I felt like I saw the word back pop up in the blackness of my mind. And I thought that, that could have been from God, but I didn't know, I had no idea. So I just had to go with it because you don't know until you try it out. I was about to start praying for her back after a few minutes of debating whether I would or not. When our friend, she starts praying over this woman's back and I'm like, oh, we are so in tune right now. Afterwards, I start praying over our principal's back. Come to find that she's been having back problems for 20 years. Oh, it gets even crazier. She had just tweaked her back on her bike that morning. We come back a few weeks later after we start going to that school and we asked her, we're like, how is your back doing? She hadn't had any pain since we prayed. Not even joking, she had not had any pain since we had prayed. 
Someone could be healed today because you decide to step out and just go for it. I have another story for the other end of the spectrum. This was quite a few years ago. We were sitting at dinner, we had a guest over, and as we were talking about my dad's eyes, now that he's getting a little bit older, I love you daddy, you're not old, you're just, you're just getting older. He's starting to lose his eyesight a little bit more, and so that night I felt like God told me his eyes are gonna be healed tonight, and I was like, what? And I was also like, oh, I don't wanna tell him. I was way nervous. 10 minutes later, I was like, Daddy, I feel like God told me that you are going, your eyes are gonna be healed tonight. Well, his eyes were not healed that night, but it's totally okay because that really just helped me to learn how to trust God, lean into God, and put my faith in God. And just remember that the more practice you have, the less nerve wracking it's gonna be and the more trust you're gonna have in God, which means that you're gonna be doing this more often, which means that you're gonna have more experiences and more encounters and more miracles. So, keep it up. Step three, the final step, journal. I cannot press this enough. All of my friends that ask me, I'm always like, journal. Journaling is so important and it's so profound and powerful. Things to journal are words that you feel like God is giving you, pictures you feel like God is giving you, Bible verses that you feel like God gave you, the good parts about your relationship with God, the frustrating parts about your relationship with God, like when you don't feel like you're experiencing anything. What you want and what you wish that God would give you and when you're thankful for God and the things that he has given you. Journal when you step out in boldness, the encounters that you have. Journal during or after your time with Jesus at least a little bit even when you feel like it's nothing worth journaling about even when you feel like it's boring or you're just like ugh, do I really have to journal right now everything that you possibly could journal journal it even if it's not about God even if it's about just anything else in life journal as much as you can without totally exhausting yourself it is so inspiring to look back on sometimes I'm just like I haven't really grown have I but I go and I look back in my journal and heck Yes, I have grown. And I would not even know how much I had grown if I hadn't been journaling all of that time. Sometimes it's really easy to be like, our relationship really hasn't grown. Our relationship, it's just like been the same and it really hasn't. And it's made me realize how much God has given me and it makes me so thankful. And it also inspires me to keep going because I'm like, if I was there then and I'm here now, think about where I could be in like months or weeks or years. So journal. It's worth it, I pinky promise. I know that this is a lot of information and a lot of talking, but I hope that it was helpful. And just remember to keep practicing it, just keep doing it and try to do it as often as you can. Because the more often that you do it, the more experiences and encounters you're gonna have. Thank y'all so, so much for watching this video. If you have any video suggestions, any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up in my DM, on my Instagram, or feel free to put them in the comments. I love answering questions and I love video suggestions a lot. Bye.